Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. And this week on Five Minute Eats, we are doing Jets Pizza Week. So we have five days of reviews for you of various products from them. We've got some side dish slash appetizer. We've got a few different pizzas and we have dessert. And we've also done this for several other pizza chains. So definitely check those out in the archives if you're interested. But if you're wondering what on earth Jets Pizza is, it is a pizza chain out of the Detroit area. So of course they do Detroit style pizza. And you might know another competitor of theirs, Little Caesars. We've also done a Little Caesars week. Now there's a huge difference between the two, and that is these guys, Jets, do not have crazy bread, Yum. which I think is really crazy because for Little Caesars, that's the best part about their food offering, right? Yes, exactly. Now they do have bread sticks, but it's not the same as crazy bread. Now they have several different varieties of this Jets bread. We just got the original. It just has like mozzarella and Parmesan cheese on it. And it's in like a breadstick format. This is what it comes in like a little round. I think it's got 12 slices and um, we're gonna try it today. So guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you, if it's worth it. And occasionally we do fast food and this is one of those times. Now, one thing about this is that it comes with a sauce, but I wish it was bigger. Yeah, I feel like Little Caesars is very generous with their sauce sizes, but I will say this is a bit more generous than Domino's though, so there's that. Now this is a very hefty little stick, so it seems like this is gonna be very filling. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, I'm ready. I'm ready. So our rating system, thumbs up, we would buy this again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a big thumbs up. I really like this. It's, uh, the bread is very soft, and then the cheeses, it's very cheesy, there's a lot of it, and with the sauce and everything, it just comes together. Is it as good as a crazy bread? No, it's not, because <laughs> I love crazy bread. It's really good, mm. but this is pretty close. Okay, so for me, this is going to be an unenthusiastic thumbs up. If we were ordering from here again, uh, I would get this because typically we do get some sort of like bread on the side whenever we order pizza, but I don't think it is nearly as good as most of the other breads that we've tried. Wow, oh wow. I think that's a bold claim because I think um, this is good, man. This is really good, probably better than I would say Pizza Hut for sure. Okay, it's better than Pizza Hut and Papa John's. And Papa John's, yeah. Because Papa John's was the worst. But I mean, I would I would have definitely Little Caesars, I would have Domino's, I would have our local pizza place, I would have all of those above this one. But like I said, if we're ordering from here again, yeah, I would buy it, so therefore it's a thumbs up. But for me, the main issue is the thickness of the bread. I like a little bit thinner cheese bread, like unless it's a crazy bread, because that's like a bread stick, whereas this is cheesy bread. I would prefer it to be thinner because then I'm just gonna load up on that and then I'm gonna be too full to actually enjoy my pizza. I would rather it be, you know, a little bit more of a light offering. Cause here's the thing, they make this in like an extra thick and I'm like, this is extra thick, what? So I, I, it's, it's okay. It's literally just okay, it's edible. I don't particularly like the sauce though cause I felt like the sauce had way too much of some sort of like seasoning, maybe like um, sage or something like that. It's a very strong seasoning though and that's really like all I can taste right now. I agree with you, the portion size is too much but otherwise it's a good product, I like it. I will say also though, I feel like the price is a little high for it. Yes, too. they are pricey. Guys, to sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up, and if you buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc., and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.